So this is our guest that's joining us for dinner tonight. I don't know if you can see him in there. Well, not really because I, I don't have the zoom on. But he, he's a little root maggot. And he has destroyed him and his friends and family have destroyed my root crops. So that's that. Um, and one of my branches off of my... Um, what do you call it? Uh, da, da, da. Goldenberry broke off. So I have these blooms and no... They were bloomy earlier. Now they're all wilty. Can't see anything. Oh well. But it doesn't matter because they're not going to produce anything anyway on there. It's just going to die. I stuck it in some water because I felt sorry for it, but whatever. Anyway, I'm just having leftovers from yesterday. It's the lentil balls with the eggplant kind of dish. And I've put some relish, as per James's suggestion, to uh, sweeten it up. And I'm using carrots to sweeten it up. So we'll see what happens. And James is having that. And uh, I cooked him some poppadums. This one's a bit dark. The other one's too better. That one's better. But anyway, I love them. Whether they're a little bit on the dark side or not, I could eat that whole plate full because I just love those things so much. But, um, but I cannot. I can't allow myself to eat those things. James can get the treat today. It's very windy out here. So I don't know how much you'll like sitting up here with me. Surprised those poppadums haven't started flying through the air like frisbees. It's funny. I went through more all more allspice in the past month or whatever how long I've been making the recipes from the Indian cookbook than I've went through in my whole adult life. Allspice is not something I cook with. Anyway, I can sit down. It's all for you. Everything. Well, except for my plate of garlic. You can't have that. That's all mine. Yeah, yeah. I know you want it. Yeah, I just finished eating, so... Mm. I'm just, yeah. I'm gonna eat that pineapple. I didn't know. I didn't want to disturb you. Yeah, I know. So I was just cooking. Yeah, I was trying to phone while you were in the bath. It wouldn't mm -hmm. bother you. It went on longer than it should have. So. Mm -hmm. On the topic I didn't want to talk about, right? It was raised by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
you know, you can... I should have tried to change it more. Yes. But I don't know how to change it. I mean, he was basically asking my opinion. So, mm -hmm. it would look really rude. But uh, that sort of rudeness would have been better than what I was subjected to, so. And I ended up having to be, shall we say, forthright. Mm -hmm. To the point of being borderline. Mm -hmm. But after what he said to me, it was my own. Very much. in there anymore I'd get a headache. You know how when you get mad, get on under the collar and get a headache? Where have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. it's, I think it's different for me than you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if women get that way. Women get very frustrated. It's hard for us to get angry properly. We just go straight to frustration and depression about it, I think. <laughs> it's not good, you know, but I don't... I can't say I've ever... Like, I, I understand. I've heard the expression hot under the collar. Yeah. I don't... Well, I you can't didn't, understand yes. it. Well, I didn't lose my temper. You didn't hear me yelling or anything like that. No, It was taking a lot of... I mean, he was interrupting and interrupting and interrupting. And I'm sitting there. Mm. The last interruption, I finally I raised it with him. I said, can I talk now, now that you've finished your yeah, two-minute Yeah, but he's been under a lot of stress lately. He shouldn't be passing it on to me. I mean, believe me, he's under some more, a little bit more stress now. Nearly as much as he could have been. Yeah. His eye was amazingly distraught. Man. He must have interrupted me a half dozen times. It's like every time I said something, he's interrupted me. Once my opinion, why raise the issue? Why basically ask me? Ah, pineapple makes me feel better. Well, just why don't you it. have mine too? No, you have it. It's good, healthy. You can have it. Isn't it good for blood pressure that the bromelades are in? It's good. It's a good for digestion. I want to help out. Only if you insist. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I've got more than enough on my plate to take me through. I insist on you at least trying one of those pop it ups because they're my oh. favorite. Did you decide to make You had some sitting around, did I, you? I, yeah, you, I made them this morning when I made your. Do you make them from bread. scratch then? No. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> I got them yeah. from a package. There we go. Well, and could you make them? I, then I fry them. Did did make you think that? Well, that recipe book make did make me think of yeah, them. Yeah. So I had to. Oh, I have some in the pantry for a long time, but I just haven't bothered to cook them because yeah. I can't eat them anymore, and it makes me sad to think yeah. about it because I love them. How do you feel about them? 
They're pretty tasty. Yeah. That's what they're about. So. Go through a whole, whole bunch of those at once. Carrots made it sweet enough for me. I didn't need to eat the relish. I tried your suggestion, but I didn't end up trying mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Let's try a little. Mm -hmm. It is good. Maybe I'll eat a lot of <coughs> your zucchini relish this week while I'm eating these meatballs. Anyway. Are you going to have the pineapple? Oh, sure, yeah, I'm so doing it. Okay. I just don't have much appetite. It's Can I have one bite of it? Well, have as much as you want. I was kind of looking forward to chasing the bitter with the sweet. There's more chopped up in the fridge if you want. Mm -hmm. What's the name? Anyway, that's our deck dinner. And James like Papa Dump, hey? Yeah, they're good.